So I've always wondered, you know, that 83 Olympia, was was the emergence of bodybuilders like Bertel Fox and Lee Haney the reason why you retired? Because I remember Lee Labrada said in 1995, with Dorian coming on and everything going to another level, becoming mass over aesthetics. I always wondered, was that what was the reason you decided to call it a day in 83? Well, one of the reasons was I was 41 years old and I was injured. Oh, really? And I was training around injuries and I knew it was just going to get worse if I kept up. And then in 1983, I saw Lee Haney place ahead of me and I said, "Uh oh, here come the monsters. The monsters are back. (laughs) And sure enough, that was the advent of it. From that period of time, from 76 to 83, basically, there were guys under 200 pounds that, you know, were winning. Franco Colombo, myself, Samir Banu, Chris Dickerson, <clears throat> great physiques under 200. Yeah. And now it was all over. It's all over. So you had a guy at 23 years old. Lee Haney was 23 years old when he did the 83 Olympia, took third place. You were in fourth place. Bertel Fox was fifth place. And then uh, you just thought, okay, this is the chi- this, I'm 41, I'm injured. This, I'll, I'll let the new generation come through and just let them have their, have their try, I suppose. Yeah, you know, actually, in a way, Bill Pearl was sort of a model for me. Uh, he, his last competition was at 41, and I thought, well, you know, that's probably a pretty good age to retire, retire from this and, and work on teaching others the craft. Hmm. And that's what I did. I had a place called, we called it Zane Haven. Where Zane we Haven, came. yeah, yeah. And I, they would spend five days, four nights with us, and I would teach them everything about training. Wow. I still do that. It's I call it Zane Experience now in my gym. Uh-huh. Although with the COVID-19, it's sort of closed down for a while but yeah. uh, next year I'm sure it'll be back in full swing again yeah so that so the COVID's affected your your business in that way with the the, the yes. Zane experience right oh yeah 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 going back to um Joe Weider do you I, I asked this of Per Bernal I said do you do you miss Joe Weider I mean obviously with the now he's not in the industry anymore do you think he's um I think I think his legacy is still it's all felt and appreciated what's your feelings on that you know, I like Joe. Actually, it was a lot of fun having him there. Mm-hmm. Uh, he was uh, he was comical. I mean, and I used to think, well, you know, <clears throat> he could give us a little bit more than what he's doing. Uh, Joe had no problem giving me an ad in the magazine, which was actually better than giving me a salary. But other people were getting a salary. But I just was sort of happy with, with getting the ad. It's sort of like the, the parable of, you know, you can you can feed a hungry person a meal of fish. But you should you could also give him fishing equipment, teach him how to fish. Yes. That's what that's what Joe did. He gave me fishing equipment. Yeah. And I've been at it ever since. I've been doing the same thing since, you know, the nineteen seventies. <laughs>